okay this is one of those things that's like not funny but i think is hilarious <laughs> i'm at work right now <laughs> and there's a really big storm coming apparently so we were all told we could go home this is my work from home day because it's monday and i can't leave because <laughs> because my shit doesn't work so i have to stay here because it is supposed to be fixing it um, <laughs> There's literally nobody else here. And there's allegedly like tornadoes and shit coming. There's nobody here. I'm gonna show you how few people are here. Hold on. As I'm walking around, I'm turning lights on because there's nobody here. All right, you guys, I wanted a snack. So I went and got a snack. Bunions and a double decker oatmeal cream pie, which is not on my healthy eating journey, but I today is just an odd day for me. I'm not gonna talk because I think there are still a couple people on this floor, but I'm just gonna show you. I'm trying not to show where I work, but I'm just gonna show you how few people are here. Tree down, it's kind of blocking the tree. <laughs> I go get the chainsaw, cut the tree down real quick. Take that light post with it. Wow. This video is the definition of tell me you have an Android without telling me you have an Android. Okay, this is the way it's packed. Yeah, I guess. Are you serious? What? <laughs> Look at Penny. Penny. Okay, bye. My goodness, <laughs> she's drooling everywhere.
Hey guys, I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit tomorrow. So I'm gonna attach this to the beginning part or part of the vlog that I do tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys this because this is like the craziest shit that's happened to me in a little while. And I just was like, I have to tell somebody this. So I have been walking like for like two hours a day for the last like couple weeks probably. And I normally walk a little bit in my lunch break at work. And then I walk like when I get home for like I don't know, an hour, depends on how much time I have left, like of stuff I have to do and whatever, right? So I'm doing a lot of random stuff today. Today's Saturday, by the way. Um, and I've been doing a lot of random shit, but I didn't really like go out and do anything. So I was like, well, I'll just go and walk. There's a lot of random shit in the background. Sorry. Um, I'll go out and walk for a little bit and just like get some exercise in, kind of get my steps in, like whatever, because I didn't really do a whole lot today. So I get out and I go to walk. I am literally, I live in a neighborhood. I am literally I can still see my house from where I'm at. I go up the street up here. I know you don't know where that's at, but I go up the street literally like, if it's a tenth of a mile, it would be impressive. And a truck comes down the road. I turn onto like one of the more main roads of our neighborhood, go down to like go for the down. There's like a leasing office and like a pool and stuff up there, whatever. So I go over there and I go to this like like the little town, you know, like the little, I mean, it's a leasing office. I don't know what you would call it, but whatever. But anyways, I go over there and there's a, the truck turns or does like a, a U-turn around up here, turns around, comes back. And I'm like, mm, that's a little sus. But like, I, you know, I noticed it was two males in the truck. And I'm like, mm, okay, like whatever. I really thought nothing else about it. I had headphones in, doing my hot girl walk, like mind of my fucking business. So I come out of the road and I'm like okay well I hear the truck come back up the road that I was just on like near where my house is and I'm like well if the if he this truck comes back behind me then I'm gonna like a thousand percent leave like I'm done like I'm not walking anymore it's making me really uncomfortable I wish I had somewhere to set this down because it's killing my arm that's better oh my god no it's not the background is hideous okay <laughs> But I'm like, okay, well, like, I'm just going to do what I need to do, whatever, and I'm just going to keep walking. Minding my business. Okay, cool. So I go, and I'm like, fine, whatever. The There's a car that comes behind me in between me and the truck. It's like a Volkswagen bug or whatever. Car goes around me, whatever. The truck is rolling, and I'm not talking, like, the speed limit in our area is 15 miles an hour because we live in, like, a complex, right? So the speed limit is 15 miles an hour. So I'm not talking, like, oh, he's just going the speed limit. I'm talking, like, he is barely going like three miles an hour like I am walking faster than he is rolling his vehicle so I'm like this is really creepy and like freaking me the hell out so I'm like I don't like this I feel really uncomfortable so I walk a little faster truck keeps going and this time the truck is literally just rolling they roll beside me one of the guys who's in the passenger seat like is like frantically waving his hand like trying to get my attention doing all this stuff rolling down the window i have both two headphones in two wireless headphones in and i'm like not even like making direct eye contact or anything i'm like still doing my thing i'm still facing forward walking like pretending like i don't even see him because like this is how like sketchy shit goes down so they finally there there's a hill that they're going down so gravity takes the truck and it goes down a little bit further and i have enough time to kind of like cut through to another road I cut through that road and I like take off fucking running like I'm running like I'm not walking I am f almost a full fucking sprint sorry I just heard anyways sorry it distracted me I'm taking off on like a full fucking sprint because I'm like I need to get the fuck away I see them pull through realize that I turned off and then like speed off and then park and then the truck goes completely quiet. This is like the loud, like I live in the South. So like, this is like a loud rednecky truck. Like this is not a quiet truck that you just like lose. Like it's a loud fucking truck. So I'm like, okay, well I really need to like be more aware of my surroundings. So I tried to play it off and I never saw the truck again, but I did hear it a couple times. I just never saw it again. And I'm like, I tried to play it off and like keep walking. I only walk for 30 minutes. I normally at least walk for 90 minutes. And I'm like, I tried to play it off and play it cool and just like keep going. I could not get back in the groove. I could not like no music was like pulling me out of my funk. So I just came back home and I'm just like, it, the, it's stuff like this. Like when I get followed in public, which doesn't happen all the time, but it happens more often than it should. And I'm sure that a lot of, if you guys are women, you agree that it happens way more frequently than it should because men are just 
creepy. And they might think that it's like funny and like, oh, we're just checking you out. But like do it in a way that doesn't make me feel like you're trying to stuff me in a van. Like, what are you doing? So that was like the creepiest experience I've had in my own neighborhood. Um, I've literally never felt unsafe in this neighborhood a day in my damn life. Like I, we've been here for over a year and I have never felt unsafe. I don't recognize that truck. And I walk, like I said, I've been walking for like, this is like the third or fourth week I've been walking every single day. And I walk at like times people come home from work. So like, and I also don't walk the same time every day. Like I walk at like five, five thirty, seven, whatever whenever I get a free minute I just walk so like it's not like I would have I would have not seen this truck somewhere I've never seen it before I describe it to my boyfriend who lives here with me obviously and he doesn't recognize the truck or anything it was just really 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 creepy and I just got in that mindset where like I literally said out loud like after I was like convinced that I had lost them I was like and you wonder why women are afraid of men. Like, do you honest to God need an explanation as to why women are terrified of men? I saw a thing online and I'm going to cut this clip because it's been like six and a half minutes of me just blabbing on about nothing. But like I saw this clip of people from the heiress tour with Taylor Swift talking about, I realized that I'm not afraid of crowds. I'm afraid of men because the women who it was like 90% women or whatever. And they were all single file or all in a very like polite, respectful row trying to like get home safely. And they're all being very polite and kind to each other and very respectful of each other. And I'm just thinking like men are not the enemy. Like I am not one person who just like thinks like, Oh fuck all men. No, I don't think that is my like philosophy at all there's some really great men in the world for sure but there are men who are just terrible and there are men who are just give women a reason to be afraid and like whether you intend to give reason a woman a reason to be afraid or not is really not the point because I was afraid I had no way to defend myself like I mean I guess I could have like fought I mean they were probably a buck 20 a piece so like Maybe I could have, like, got swinging on them or some shit. But, like, what's the reality that I'm going to win that? Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. It was just one of those things where I was just, like, I've got to tell somebody else about this because this is, like, the craziest shit in the world in my own fucking neighborhood. But that's going to be all for this clip. <laughs> it's a long-ass clip. Uh, it's probably, like, the length of my last podcast or my last video. But, um, yeah. So it's Saturday the 24th of June right now. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but... I'm going to film tomorrow, hopefully, too. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.